Okay, so now we need to filter up. Our goal is to cycle out our trains, right? And to cycle in those. I think. Oh, look, they're looking for columns. Okay, so clippers. So this is what's not in the line. So those that were worst frames are out. See, they're only on our frames. Huh? They're awesome. Okay, so I think we're just going to leave it as a single, okay? Yeah. So you can take away that other top one. Or, you know, here we'll just use it as a... As they're up in box. The bees on this box, put them in the. Huh? Open the, take the top cover off and I'm trying Just to shake the bees off. Where's that fallen patty, Hannah? So, we place the pollen patty. I like putting it at the back center. That's probably about half a patty. That's enough for them. This little hive. They stay pretty calm throughout that. That's a nice little hive. Yeah, this. Just so people can see. We have the hole on the top. We have it's a piece of screen, uh, like thumbtacks. But it acts as a feeding hole as well. Sometimes. 
So we've got a bit of protein in there. Probably not enough, but they're finding pollen. Now they've got a liter of syrup. So, um, there's that. So that's hive number one. So we took, we dropped them down, we accomplished our goal, we dropped them down to a single hive. We didn't actually see the queen, but they're bringing in pollen and I, I could see where she was, the frame that she's probably on. Yeah, we're just going to have to trim those a little bit, hey? Anyways. <coughs> um, no, we're going to use those in frames. So those are four honey frames. So now we're going to do the second hive. I'll try to get this a little bit closer. Use the second hive. Use the smoker. See, this one's much stronger. This is our strongest hive. This is our original one we had. So we'll also smoke in the door. So yeah, we'll just... It's pretty windy out. It's fairly windy. We'll just give them kind of a minute to dissipate. The smoke will also help mask their alarm pheromones. So hopefully they don't get as aggressive as they could. Let's have a look inside. Good though, this is a nice strong hive, so we want to get some. You might see some queen cells out of this one. Just making room, we try to take one or two frames out. Okay. Just no, no, put it back in there. So the same idea, we checkerboarded these ones. We want to turn the frame to the sun so you can see. So, if there are eggs, we're looking into the bottom. Here, Helen, it's back so we can see. So, we don't expect to find the queen here. But we are looking for a couple frames of brood. So the queen could be on here. I just sort of see them building the wax though. They don't look very active. Through this. So the 
This is all plastic, but they are working it, mm -hmm. so they've had this not very long. You're pissing me off. You don't know what you're doing. Just rushing through everything. Oh, I know what we're looking for, just like the last time. We're making, we're looking for frames of brood. We know the queen's fine here. I got no questions about the queen being in here. So we added this second top a couple weeks ago. A week ago. Plastic. And there's a little bit of honey with wax. So that one's as expected. See, that's how you're supposed to do it. So when you take the one out to free up room, you inspect each one and then slide it back. And then the original one you took out, you can you put on the far side. together. Okay, so that looks strong. So you can see they have a little bit of pollen left with a little bit of the pollen patty, but not very much at all. So we can expect to find the queen in here. Not really looking for the queen though. Pretty confident she's in there. So you can see there's drone larva. Show them the larva, Helena. So that's all drone, how it's protruding. So those are going to be male bees as opposed to the female bees. On the bottom of the hive is capped honey. Show the capped honey. All down in there, in the corner. And then this is all palm. So the queen could be on here. She could be close to these frames. So those brood look probably about a week old. Anyways, that's a good sign. Okay, this frame's full of bees. This might be a good one too. So we're trying to make some four frame nukes as a, for two reasons. As a split. So we're really looking for the queen here. Okay, so we're going to use this. So we're going to use that as one of our four or one of our split frames. Oh, look. Oh, look at those. So I see I've popped some larva in there. I'll look in a second. Okay, so this is the one I'm interested in. Oh, girl, heavy.
for the ice, but it feel heavy. Take it. Okay, so this is capped brood. You can see it. We're looking for the queen. This one's so strong. Because if because uh, if you don't 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 bother, she's up there. You can tell. If you can listen, hear that hum, and then here's our four frame split. You can hear the hum. But now if we go over to this super, there's no hum and listen how calm they are. That's because that's where the queen is. We didn't find the queen, but because of the sound, we're going we're gonna to deduce that that's where she is. And I'm happy with that. All right, that's the scoop. We're going to put this one back together and on to number three. Two to go. All right, so this is hive number three. Idea, kind of give them some smoke in hopes of masking their scent a little bit and so their alarm pheromone will be quite as strong. See them all feeding on the pollen patties, that's a good sign. But we want them to go back in their hive, so I'll just drift the smoke across them. So not so it's too hot, I don't, the smoke's too close, it'll be too hot. Just want them to go down on their own. Sometimes they're just a little bit too hungry. Alright. So, just by the quick hunch, um, Probably in the bottom. This this one isn't as strong as the others. This is the other one that was, was a single all winter, right? Mm -hmm. oh, no. What is that blank? Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. So we're going to split it, I'm just, set it back. I'm just going to set it on the back, put the thing behind it. So unless she's on this green drone frame, so the green drone frame has different size cells, so the male um, need larger cells to grow. This feels really light, so that tells me there's probably... So 
I think we're in pretty good shape. There's a lot of empty frames in this one. I don't think she's going to be in here. It wasn't in the drone frame. We'll just double check this other middle one. But they're checkerboarded, so every other one is... Yeah, look at all that fresh nectar. Wow. So they're finding flowers, or maybe they've just uncapped some honey. All right, put it down, please. We already passed that. Okay, so I'm going to separate this. Because we want to try to hear that roar again, to just kind of confirm. I think she's going to be on the bottom. So we want to hear the bees that we take away here start to make sound. Can you put that more flat right behind it? Closer, maybe get that and put it on top of the. Uh, just put the nuke box there. Maybe that a what's that for? 